Hey, how are you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring walkthrough, real walkthrough, and I'll play through with my next build. And welcome back. We are going to be taking on Seofra Awkward Duck today. And also, um, if we got the time, we'll try to access the Volcano Manor area. So here is the Awkward Duck. There's going to be this dragon right here. And I'm gonna do some bridge fighting. Stab, alright, jump attack. Roll back. After he attacks, wait for the stab and then jump attack. Careful of the stabs. Shield bash, jump attack. You can Bloodhound step away. You need to use Bankai. Roll into him. He's gonna do anything else? Nope. Watch out for the fire. Heal up. Yeah, this is the the annoying part about this fight. It's the it's gotta be the fire. Ouch. Uh oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to Bloodhound step back in there. That's like the weird thing about Bloodhound step. Press twice and then it like it goes back towards the enemy sometimes. All right, Crucible Horn Shield. I think that might be a a luck drop right there because I don't recall that like always dropping. Anyways, upon defeating him, we can then now gain access to the Missionary Cookbook level five. So go centipedes. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the cookbook. Level 5 right here. So you get the sacred order pot. Not really sure what those do because I don't really craft those uh, the pots or anything like that. Actually, like when it comes to Elden Ring, I barely do any crafting. Unless it's like a weapon enhancement. Like, like enhances fire or something like that. I think those are... Even then, like, it's kind of rare for me to craft. Because I usually just go through the game like how well I would normally go through it if I was playing any other Souls game. I know it's not the same, but I just choose to play like that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, there's going to be some more enemies. Some of those white, skinny, I don't know what you want to call those. Hollows? Maybe? Can we call them hollows? I don't know. I know there's a dragon knight there, but we will wait a moment before taking that on. I know there's a guy behind me. Ouch. We need the health back. Oh wait, I don't have the the health thing on. <laughs> but it did give me some um some healing items just now. Okay. Uh, I think we're safe actually. The Dragonite's there. I don't. I don't believe you can make him commit suicide. So, not even gonna try. All right, took down the Scarab, and we got Order Healing. Okay. Got some more ghost centipedes. Um, I think that's nope. Some gold runes on the side, and now I think that's it for this part. So I'm gonna use one heal, and then grab this item here. More gold rune. Okay, we'll take it. Now we're gonna go and take on the Dragon Knight that's just chillin'. And then we're gonna use Bloodhound. We're gonna abuse the Bloodhound stuff like what we did before. Alright. Whoa. I did not think that was gonna reach. God damn it. 
Okay, don't push too far back over there because of uh, those enemies in the back. Wow, I'm just like I'm. I keep eating that initial stab attack. It also has that stomp. All right. You can roll dodge into the the dive bomb that I just did. This move you can use Bloodhound step and just step into him to avoid that. And we got him. It wasn't pretty, but we got him. Okay. I want to get some free a uh, FP back if possible. How are we doing on HP? Okay, HP is okay. Like we have enough um, crimson flasks. I, I <laughs> at least I hope we do. I would like to say we do, but those are usually famous last words before I I eat it. And now we're gonna pull some enemies from inside of here. Yeah, that guy has a. Uh, as arrows. I think that guy also has arrows or does he have a weapon? Okay, that guy has a weapon. So we're gonna use this to uh, get some FP back. So much for that idea. <laughs> Trying to get some FP back and I also lost HP, Jesus. Alright, come on. FP. FP. Shit. FP. Of that. If that arrow touches me, I'm gonna lose HP. Even if I'm blocking. Cause that's not that's not a physical attack and all my other shit is like it doesn't block 100 percent physical. Okay, can I abuse this? Maybe, maybe I can. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, no, wait, that's not what I want. Where's that thing again? Oh, it's right here. It was just right there. I was just blind. Okay. Ten heals. Well, it'll be nine by the time uh, when we start fighting him. Yeah, because I, I believe that's it for as far as enemies go. That's it. Okay. Alright, moving on. Heal. This guy right here, he's actually um, D's brother. So if we like if you did the quests which we did, so we got like we got these armor. Let me check it out right here. So the twin set, we have the entire set. Um and you can give it to him. Uh but note that if you give it to him you won't be able to get it back until you progress the story more. So yeah. Hand over twin armor set. Yes. And you get a gesture called Inner Order. And that's all he says. Okay. So... You can actually... 
back out and come back in. Alright, so once you load back in, the guy is now gone. And where'd he go? He is actually right here, waiting for you to summon him for the boss fight. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm not gonna. We're just gonna go into this boss fight. The reason why you want to summon him is because there's gonna be two boss fights here. There's only one right now, Valley and Gargoyle. Uh, the second one will then spawn in once his HP. When, th when this one's HP falls into 50%, um, the second one then comes in. Alright, poison breath attack, just stay away from this because if you're in the poison, it actually does like chunk damage. It takes away like, I guess, like 5 or 10% of your HP. I don't know why it hits so hard, but it does. 1 2. If you're too close, it'll do that 1 2 combo. Um, that's the rush attack. There's also a combo attack. Oh, I'm still doing the rush attack. We downed him, and I usually like to get one. Like jump attack off after we down him and then go in for the for the gods the crit watch out for the slam down ouch right, stay away stay away gotta heal I'm trying to take out the first one before Taking on the second one while our mimic is still alive is the ideal thing to do for me. Alright, it knocked us down so then like that whole shebang just kind of flew over my head. Ouch. Okay. We gotta go. I thought he was going to do the quick attack. That's the combo attack, by the way. So this is when... This is where things get a little bit heavy, because... Oh shoot. Because our Mimic died. So we have no more distraction, and both of them are on our ass. We can't hit him with the arrows. Okay. Yeah, especially if the second one starts like doing its rush attacks, it can be pretty bad. Look at that. Cause like you're focused on one, trying not to get hit, and then like the second one just comes out of nowhere. RKO from downtown. Alright, what you got, bitch? <laughs> just like focused on dodging the second one. Do you want some then? Okay, I don't know why the first one's like so passive. Alright. Okay, gotta be careful because of the poison. Is what I'm looking for. Hey, we got him. Now we just have to deal with the second one. Alright, uh, it's in the twin blade mode. You pretty much just stay near his crotch for this fight. Or this version. Alright, poison spit. Get away. Switch back to my heal flasks. If you're near its crotch, you'll be fine most of the time. Get that crit. Get my own, baby. Jump attack. It's not close enough to the crotch. That was not a dead sweet spot. Watch out when this first switches over to the axe like that. It doesn't matter if it's like if it's swapped before like from from the twin blade to the axe just be careful because it'll do that scream and then that slam is gonna have um, 
like groundbreaking experience. So that's what you want to watch out for. One jump attack, uppercut, and then the overhead afterwards. This be careful because the slam, the, the foot slam is gonna hurt you. You can bloodhound step dodge into that. And it's dead. <sighs> that was rough. I mean, it may not have seemed rough, but the shit was rough. Gargoyle's great sword and we got Gargoyle's twin blade. So basically what they were using. So here's the twin blade. Okay, and here is the great sword. Alright, so that's <laughs> if that's your shtick, that's what it is. And that's pretty much it for this arena. It's a huge ass arena. I mean I'm glad it's huge, not like the the putrid tree spirit where that shit was so damn small for a that's that size of a boss, you know. Uh let's go ahead and level up. Endurance. So we got endurance on 29. Next up, we'll up our dexterity to 40 afterwards. Like once once this hits 30, we'll get this to 40, and then we'll get our vigor up. Um, we're 26. We need what 2,000 souls. So let's just top top off right now. How much does this one give? This gives 400. Okay. I'll just use two more. Should be fine. Yeah, sorry for those of you guys that like my current level. <laughs> Good old 69. Alright. Wait. Oh, I did my math wrong. <laughs> okay, we need... Exactly, what, 8,000? I'm not doing... If I'm not like 9,800, if I'm not doing my math too incorrectly. Yeah, we have enough. So 800 was correct, not 8,000. So, there we go. Level 70. Okay. And I think... Yeah, we don't have any extras to like up our flask. So that will be fine for now. Uh, next up, if you want to progress to a secret location, there is a coffin here. And then you can just rest in it. root depths <laughs> so I'm assuming this is the, the waterfall that we came up from god damn okay this is a whole different area by the way if you look at the <clears throat> map quote unquote map it's right here so this is um up here this is a uh, window 
or Altus Plateau. Well, Altus Plateau is like right here, and Linda was in here. I'm pretty sure that's how they they separated there. So we're in the bottom of this, and it looks like shit. So yeah. Uh, we are going to take on this area another time because I do not want to go through this area because of how, how shit it looks. Okay, well, I guess we can take out this guy. Actually, I don't even know if there's like a point of doing that. Oh, we'll take it down just for the hell of it. So, same deal as always. Jump attack, butt slam, ouch. Should actually do that dodge that in time. Alright, what do you got? Oh crap, this thing. Ouch. I was trying to, uh oh. <laughs> I was trying to uh, Bloodhound step and then like, that, that delay screwed me. Bloodhound step is uh, OP. <laughs> Sorry for the added sound effects. Just can't help. It. That's what I, that's what I think. Bloodhound step. Yeah, that. While you're invisible, that's like iframe right there. And it's dead. Alright. And yeah, there are some stuff on the side, and then we get the Staff of the Avatar. How great is this? I don't know. <laughs> Never used it. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll leave this place for another time. So let's go ahead and... Uh, what I want to do next. I think I want to take on the Volcano Manor. How are we doing on... Okay, we got 10,000. And I guess we can spend it on uh, arrows. Because we, we need to die in order to get to uh, the Volcano Manor. And I kind of just don't want to waste it, you know. Now I'm actually thinking if I... Because if we can manage, if we don't die in the Volcano Manor, we can come back to um, the Academy to, to claim our souls, or not souls, runes. Because we're going to need to take out a boss there, so I'm, de I'm deciding, like, I'm, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a good plan. Because if we can manage to come back to retrieve this, that'll be good. How how we do on arrows anyways? Like we should be fine on arrows actually. Is there anything like I can spend? <laughs> I never bought the cookbooks. Now might be the good time. Let's buy the cook uh, the cookbooks. Okay, we still how much do we still have? We still have eight thousand, okay. Alright. Yeah, let's let's chance it, I guess. If you don't wanna like risk losing it, I highly recommend you, like you buy something. I don't know. I don't know what you want to buy. Arrows or whatever you want. Upgrade materials. Anything. Just just spend it if you don't wanna risk losing it. I'm gonna chance it and hopefully I do remember but uh like like to come back to claim this because otherwise it's gonna be pretty stupid. Alright. Whoa, that was a weird angle with the camera there. Hey. So what we're going to do here is we're going to let um, the Iron Virgin kill us. By, uh, with a grab, actually. Because you need a... It's got to be with a grab, otherwise it's not going to work. So Yeah, don't let it kill you with its like blade. Make sure it's like it's death by grab. That will warp you towards the, at least the volcano manor side. 
and then we'll take on like the optional side first before we actually take on the volcano manor. That's my plan. Let's see how it works. Okay, we need to get grab now. Can't, can't have him hit us with a blade. I'm a little bit scared. What you just grab? That I swore you loved grabbing before. Ah oh, shit, they killed us <laughs> with the plane. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> that was frustrating. It didn't even grab once. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> um, We'll try it one more time. If it doesn't work, I'll just... I guess I'll add it to the point where it actually grabs and kills us. This is... This is the main reason why I haven't, like, used the rune arc, by the way. Like, if, you, if you're wondering, like, why I'm, like hogging all these rune arcs here it's not because i don't want to use it it's because of this shit like the the grab death it'll take away your rune arc too so that is why i'm like holding off on, whoa that is why i'm holding off on using the rune arc because i don't want it to waste um yeah because like we're gonna need to at least die twice like at the very least, because you die once here and you take on the optional area. And after that's done, you can't really go back to the actual volcano manor area unless you die again from this. Oh, now you want to grab it. What the fuck? Okay, that actually took out a decent amount of HP. Oh, grab again. Perfect. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to claim my soul. <laughs> Well, that that's eight thousand runes. <laughs> I was talking about not forgetting it, and I already forgot about it. Like, yeah, it's right here. See. So. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it for now. I would say. Actually. Yeah, let's actually make to make our way towards the what do you call it? A side of grace before I end off this this run here. There's gonna be some bats here on the side, so I'm gonna just take them all out with some jump attacks. Hopefully, it'll land and not miss like what just happened to me. Okay, that didn't it didn't land as I wanted to, but whatever. Um, there's gonna be another one on the side over here. I don't know what it's doing. It looked like it was just like face slamming the wall for some reason. I believe that is it for... As far as pickups go, I think that's it. There's not much. Like, at least not here anyways. Hopefully I'm not like missing it. Is it me with the lava? The lava is not like too too bad, I guess, compared to Lost Isolith. That was like that was crazy. Lost Isolith. You guys played Dark Souls one. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can't hit the damn bat. Okay. And from here, like, there's only a few bats, and from here, you can just make your way down. Yo. And then we get some of these slugs here. These remind me of the 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 ones from oh my god that one hurt. From Demon Souls. Like those white slugs.
right. Uh, there is an. Ooh, whoa, whoa. There's an enemy right here on the side. Come on. And then there's one up top here. This one does cast sorcery, so be careful. Yeah, it constantly shoots out that. So if you leave him alive, I'll just keep like shooting that, like casting that um specific spell. Um, I've checked all these walls. I thought there would be like a secret location or something like that that I'll take you somewhere else, like into the manor, but it, there isn't, not here. So yeah. And look at look at that, four thousand runes. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, if you want to warp out, that's how you warp out. By the way, because if uh, I should have showed it off, but it's, it's too late. Like if you first get caught by the Iron Virgin and you die, and then you know how we ended up at, at the volcano area up here, um, you can't warp. Like on your initial death, you can't warp. I'm not exactly. Oh, I think. And if you die, you just go back to the same place where you like got sent to when you got grabbed by the Iron Virgin. I believe that's how it works. Unless it sends you back to your last rested side of grace. I that I can. I should have tested it out before doing this, but yeah, I can't remember right now. But anyways, yeah, getting to the side of grace is not even tough. Anyways, it's just pretty much a straight shot. Just. Yeah, follow the path you kill you don't even need to kill the bats you can just like make your way down and that's that so yeah on the next episode we will be taking on this lower floor and probably kill some side bosses or something like that because this area is not that big so yeah that's pretty much it so thank you all so very much for watching hopefully this video has helped and if it did hopefully you will all Stay tuned for the next episode, but yeah, until next time, I hope to catch y'all later. Homes, uh, oops.